So in this video, I want to talk about success orientation or something I call positive reality. Um, now, before I get started, you might notice my voice is a little different, a little deeper, a little more raspy than usual. It's already deep enough. Um, I've had a cold, um, by the way, I'm in Park uh, Chismaju here in Romania. Um, uh, I'll only be here another few more days and then off to Hawaii. But um, the reason I want to talk about success orientation is because as I look at a lot of clients that grow, I usually teach when, when I'm doing a six month program, I usually teach this principle first because it is the principle that allows them to grow the fastest if they can get it. But unfortunately, it does take people a while to get. So don't expect to get this overnight. You'll understand the principle right away. It's not hard to understand, but to actually live it, to embody it is a whole nother thing. I'm still embodying it more and more all the time. Um, so the opposite of this would be like negative reality, learned helplessness, the sense of you're looking for doom. Something's gonna go wrong. Something bad's gonna happen. That's kind of the opposite of it. Um, that is the opposite of it. You know, there's a sense that I have this clients or certain clients, you'll, you'll be working with them and they'll, and they've got a giant list of what ifs for everything you say. You say, Hey, you could do this, this, and this, but what if this happens? What if that happens? And they're always listing things in the way of looking at what could go wrong. And you can do that forever. I mean, literally I could say, why don't you approach that blonde over there? Well, what if she rejects me? Why don't you approach that blonde over there with this line? It's hard to reject. And she looks really open. Well, what if that guy standing next door is her boyfriend? What if he gets mad at me? What if I get beat up? You know, these, these what ifs go on almost forever. I mean, what if the planet blows up tomorrow? That's how I look at it. And I found that the most successful people in the world, they don't deal in what if goes wrong, but it's such a strong program. And I want you to take a deep look at yourself and look at your secret thoughts and ask yourself deep down inside, do you do this? Do you ask yourself, do you look at everything and, and rationalize it in the sense of, I got to first look at what could go wrong. I got to list all the problems and then end up super heavy because you've listed out all the possibilities. If I invest in this business deal, you know, oh my God, this could happen. That could happen. Sure. And a lot of good things could happen too. If people, successful businessmen out there thought like that, they would never do a business deal because every business deal has its inherent flaws and failures. But when you, when you begin to understand that things will fail, for sure things will fail, and you begin to become okay with that idea, you begin to understand that failure is a part of life, and you begin to realize that if the odds, somebody was talking about this the other day, are in your favor, like you're picking really good business deals, you're approaching a lot of women, they look open, they look solid, everything feels good with each one, in the sense that you feel good, you're embodied, your heart's open, you're at your best, then let's say the odds are 51% in your favor, not like a casino where it's just a little bit in their favor to keep you gambling. Then as you invest in enough women, invest in enough deals, you overall make money. You can't not make money when you're making smart deals over and over and over again. You're just making sure that the percentage of deals that you get into, you get into a larger percentage are all in your favor and probably definitely one or two of those is going to explode. It's going to be absolutely amazing and it's going to take off for you. You know, somebody was talking about this in crypto the other day. He says, you could sit there and put all your money into one deal, but that one deal, even though it looks spectacular, could go wrong. But if you spread your money out over molt a lot of different deals, like especially in the low caps, and on average, you've done your research, you, you're, you're talking to the right people, you've got all the right uh, information behind you, you've taken the time to understand how it works, and then you get into those deals, a few of those could take off, and one of those could make more money than all the rest. Well, think about this with women. If you get really good at being embodied, open-hearted, and all that stuff, and you approach a certain number of women that you find attractive, and you have you get rejected by the bulk of them, one or two of those could be absolutely amazing. Become your wife even, your girl, next girlfriend, you know? And that's all it really takes, isn't it? Do you need 50 million great deals? No. 
you're playing, you're kind of working this, this field and you're saying, I believe that God's got my back. The universe has got my back and ultimately something good's going to come out of this. And I'm going to learn and grow from each failure until something blows up for me. So there's another thing out there in positive psychology. We got learned helplessness, right? And learned helplessness is like the elephant idea. If you take a baby elephant and you put a stake in the ground when it's a baby and it can't get away, it fights, fights, fights. By the time it's adult, you can put a little rope around its leg and put it in the ground and the elephant doesn't know that it can get away. It doesn't know it's strong enough. Just yank that right out of the ground. So it doesn't, it just sits there. And that's that learned helplessness idea. A lot of kids get it in school. Like, what's the point? I, I have no power. I can't do anything anyway. So they just kind of give up. And they've done studies on this where I think I pretty much had it. I just, I didn't expect to do good on any tests. I didn't expect to do good in school. And I, I didn't, I was really smart, but I didn't want to put the effort in. Cause what's the point? I'm going to get yelled at anyways. This isn't going to go anywhere. That was kind of my mentality through life with everything. That's why I think I got into the business I'm in. So we go the other way, positive reality. And positive reality is this term that was coined in positive psychology. There are certain people out there that have this powerful, positive reality. They see everything in terms of what could happen. Think about this. If, if you see everything in terms of what might go wrong, they see everything in terms of what might go right. And imagine if you had that mindset, what might go right? Um, so what would that look like? Well, if you look at somebody that goes out there and thinks in terms of what might go right, it activates up something very powerful in their mind. It's like almost a scientific version of law of attraction. So this is really good. It activates something uh, called the reticular activating system. And you got to understand how this thing works with the way your subconscious mind processes. And we're going to take a, we're going to take a look at that right now. But before I do, I want to invite you to like, subscribe and share if you haven't already. Definitely comment in the video if you're getting bad value out of this video. It helps everybody to grow. And I love the discussions. Like I, I love to hop in those comments and talk with you guys. And I usually do that within the first couple of weeks of the video. So uh, don't be afraid to put those comments in. Thank you. And um, let's dive in. So the RAS, your brain processes at about 10 million bits of data per second, but it only consciously sees around 10 bits. Now that number goes up and down depending on who you're talking to. The, the subconscious processing part can actually go up quite a bit, um, but we'll say 10, min, not 10 million on the low end, okay? I think they say actually 10 to 40 or something like that. And uh, it's pretty ridiculous how much your subconscious picks up on. As I'm walking around, my subconscious is picking up on every person around me everything that's going on, but consciously I'm only seeing a little bit. What's coming to my awareness, my conscious awareness is only the stuff that matches my belief system. It's coming, hitting the critical part of my mind, the we call it the critical factor, and then it's being analyzed and it's saying, does this match Brian's reality of the world? And if Brian's reality is really negative and always see something wrong, it's gonna sort through that 40 million bits of data per second, everything going on around me, and it's gonna find the one thing, two things, 10 things, that can validate my reality of the world, that everything's going wrong. Oh, look at this, look at that, oh my God. What about this, what about that? And that's what's gonna to come to the surface. And then by seeing that, I'm gonna see more of that in the world and through the, the RAS, because the, the RAS is sorted, what's happening is, is my conscious mind is only getting that. So the RAS is gonna constantly sort for things that most match what's in your conscious mind recently. So let me, let me go back to the RS part. If you're thinking about buying a new car, let's say there's a new truck you want to buy and you start looking at this truck and you never noticed this truck on the road before. Suddenly you start seeing it everywhere. Well, it had always been there. It just hadn't been in your subconscious mind to see. Now the RAS is supporting, removing that from the unconscious to the conscious, right? So if you've got a negative reality operating, and you're starting to see potential rejection from women and you're really focused on that rejection and all the things that could go wrong, your RAS is gonna sort and bring forward to your, to your conscious mind all the potentials for rejection all the time. But people with a positive reality, people who have literally built a positive reality, don't do that. Their mind sorts for what could happen. Oh my God, she could be my next girlfriend. Or this uh, business deal could make me a lot of money. Or um, I love, uh, I love that I just learned about, um, dollar cost averaging because dollar cost averaging is how so many millionaires are made in, in crypto and business. And 
um, they get excited about things and they see the possibility everywhere. And, uh, and so their brain sorts through the same bit of information and brings that to the front of their mind, all the possibilities that could lead them to success and helps them succeed, helps them see things that the other person can't see because they're not in alignment with that idea through their negative reality. To illustrate this in, an, in another way, if your life, if you got a negative reality at all, and let's say you want to make a lot of money, we're going to use money for this example, we could use women. Um, and let's say you want to make, you want to become a millionaire. You've never been a millionaire, a multi, let's say you want to make $10 million a year because millions, not that much anymore. And you've never done that. What if we took your consciousness out of your body and we put in somebody like Richard Branson's, right? Somebody that's really successful with money. And we let him live your life. How long would it take for him to take your money, your reality without any resources, his older, he can't call anybody he knows. He just has to work with his mindset. It's his mindset in your body to take your options and opportunities and turn it into a million or $10 million. It wouldn't take long, would it? Put a comment. Let me, I want to know what you think, how long that would take, but I promise you it wouldn't take long. They've tested people. They've taken away millionaires and billionaires, all their money. And they, they put them in, I think, uh, uh, like a dilapidated old, uh, old homes and, and where people didn't know them in towns where people didn't know them. And they had to go recreate businesses and they did it. And they, they would go recreate businesses and make money really fast. So if this happened to you, you can feel it. I would imagine inside most people can, when I ask this question, yeah, it wouldn't take them long at all. So, you know, the opportunities are in your reality that what's going on is you're the one sabotaging those rea realities, right? You're the one holding back and you're the one stopping them from coming to fruition through this negative reality because it doesn't allow you to compound into success and to see possibility everywhere, right? Uh, think about this with women. If we took your consciousness out of your body, if you're struggling with women and we put in somebody that kills it all the time and he took over your life and your body um, and think of your favorite seducer that's really good, put him into your, how long would it take him to go meet a woman? How long would it take him to get a woman, right? And I know this is true because I've seen heavy set, I've seen short, I've seen balding men suddenly get really good with women because they get over the fear of rejection. They start laughing at it and they start seeing beauty and possibility everywhere. When my clients start seeing the beauty of women everywhere and they stop obsessing over this idea that they're going to get taken advantage of and they start just loving women, they start getting success right and left. And uh, usually end up getting a girlfriend, getting married, something like that within a woman that that's amazing. Um, so this idea of positive reality, it's something that I, in the, my six month groups, I'm constantly cultivating. I'm constantly trying to figure out how to cultivate faster this idea of positive reality because it doesn't cultivate overnight. The idea of learning this just doesn't get your brain because of all the neural pathways that are used to seeing negative to stop seeing negative. Learned helplessness doesn't go away easy, right? And what I want to invite you into is that you can change it though. I've worked hard to change my negative reality and sometimes it catches up with me. Somebody hits a, a pocket in there in my subconscious mind that, oh fuck, that, I didn't know that was still there. Like a, like our Tolly would say, a dormant pain body, right? And it comes alive and I'm like, ooh, but I can get through it usually within a day or so. And I'm back to like, okay, I can see the beauty in the world again. And, uh, and I used to live in a negative reality. So you can change this. And I've seen client after client change it. And that's what my six month group is designed to do is to really get clients out of this negative reality and get them into to a positive reality. That's the whole goal of kind of the idea. Get out of wanting, get into choice, get into personal power, get into seeing the world, the beauty in the world, like walking through this garden today. So much beauty out here. I love the parks here out in, in Romania. Um, so, you can do this. Now, what do you have to do to do this? Um, first off, comment in the video. If you really want to make this change, you think you need to, or if you've already got a positive reality, either or put a comment about that in the video. I'd love to hear whether you need to make the change or if you had or, or have a positive reality in the area of your life and what that's like. Now let's continue on. Um, <laughs> this is interesting. Hopefully you guys like this way I'm doing the videos lately, just kind of showing stuff as I walk random. Next week I'll be in Hilo, Hawaii. I'll do a video from there at, I think, Justin Bieber's old mansion or something. 
Um, but anyways, let's go into this positive reality. You see, that's how my life changed so much. <laughs> I'm flying to Hawaii to hang out in a mansion to sing songs with people. It's, it's, I'll explain that one next week on the next video. Um, so this idea of positive reality, how do you cultivate it? Well, you got to almost become ridiculous with watching your mind go negative all day long. So I would set a timer. This is the first thing I do. I'd set a timer for at least six times a day to go off and for you to stop and meditate on seeing the positive in the world and letting go of your negative reality. And after about a week of doing that, you're gonna start catching negative thoughts as they come up. We'll probably catch them the first day, but you'll start catching them more and more. You'll start seeing these blocks of negative thoughts. Oh, I'm thinking negative. You have to become ridiculous for a few weeks at stopping those negative thoughts. Stop, let them go, stop, let them go. Don't, ex don't look for results right away because you won't get results. They'll actually get noisier. In the beginning, they're gonna get noisier and noisier and noisier those first few weeks, okay? About three weeks in, maybe a little bit shorter, you're gonna notice them start to quiet down most likely. And then you're gonna start to find those positive thoughts starting to take over as your vibration raises, because what you're releasing on, if you know releasing and letting go and revealing process, as you keep letting go of the emotion of negative reality, which is this heavy, what something's gonna go wrong feeling, it's the feeling under the thought and you keep letting it go and you rise up into this positive energy, you're naturally gonna start thinking more positive thoughts. Oh, look at that girl smiling. God, I wanna talk to her. Or, wow, she seems super sweet. Whereas before it's like, I should just reject me anyways. And so after several weeks of really looking at these thoughts and releasing on them, things are gonna change. Your emotions are gonna change, your thinking's gonna change, but you've got to be kind of ridiculous for a few weeks about it. You gotta do a dedicated process. Get a journal out every hour, every two hours for six to eight times a day. Stop and meditate for five to 10 minutes on releasing the negative reality and feeling positivity. You can use releasing journaling, releasing, mind map releasing. This is all in the Revealing Mastery course, which I can put a link to in this video. Um, you can use Sedona method, you can use Hawkins method, but get this under control. Now this video is a little too long for me to really break down letting go, but I would do it every hour and I would, wouldn't look for results for about a month. Now you might see results sooner, that's common. Uh, you might even get worse for a little bit, get noisier, remember that, but then the results will start to come. And the reason you wait that long is because with something like this, it is going to most likely get worse before it gets better. Your noise is going to get louder. You're going to start to hear it more because it was all in the background. The subconscious is coming to the surface to come out. And then at about a month mark, you can look back and say, OK, and this is why I want you to journal every day about it. Um, what your experience is Then in a month you might and you look back in that journal, you might be surprised how different it is. See, sometimes when we don't journal, we don't realize how much we've changed. Other people around you can tell sometimes, but you can't tell. So get control of those thoughts. Start to play with this positive reality. Start to understand what it takes to create a positive reality. Start to play with all this. Um, and um, you can pretty soon start to develop a positive reality. Now, if you're interested in learning more about this, um, uh, definitely check out brianbajan.com. There'll be a new website going up there soon if it's not already. And um, if you're interested in my six month groups, go there. Uh, there'll be more information on them there. If not right now, there will be soon. Um, and definitely check out the Revealing Mastery course. I'll put a link in the video. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, positive reality, man, it's awesome. When you start to develop it, it's awesome. You won't get it everywhere at once, but it will develop. Remember, only the confident really live. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Take care, have a beautiful day.